how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too. I thank God. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love and your support that you always show me, guys. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, YouTube automatically is going to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. Do that, please. And I promise, you will always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of a Zambian lady by the name of Precious in her mid thirties and a single mother of two. Precious thought had found love on a dating app with a guy from Poland, a Polish guy, but this guy is based in the Netherlands, works there. This guy seemed real, like real, real, real. As I tell you this story before reaching to an end of the video, you'll be like, oh my God, he is the one, he is the best. <laughs> because that's how it seemed. Then decided to get married. But guys, one week after their wedding, the worst happened. That left her shocked, that left her heart broken. Like, am I dreaming that this happened? That is going to be our today's video. And to you, my beautiful ladies, black African women interested in dating white men, and you are on the sites apps searching, this video will help you so, so much. When we reach to an end of our today's video, you are not going to leave empty. You're going to leave this channel, your eyes shined. <laughs> yes, so without wasting much of your time, guys, let us jump into this love story. So dear friends, I am going to be starting this love story with a bit of precious love life the past love relationship experience so that we get to know, we get to understand where Precious came from before finding the Polish guy. So when I asked Precious how was her past love relationship experience, she was like, Bella, I don't have anything good to tell you about it. Yeah, it was a bad, bad one. Cause at first I was married, but in 2016, unfortunately, I divorced. And when I divorced, I had two kids. Hmm. Divorcing, it's not all that easy. So it took her some time to settle down, even financially, to heal. You know, her heart to heal. And once everything was okay, she had settled down, her heart had healed was like, I'm now ready to start dating. And yes, of course, <laughs> Precious came across this cute Zambian guy and they started dating. Everything was going super, super good. Their relationship lasted for three good years. And after those three years of dating, this guy left Precious and married another Zambian lady. She was so heartbroken, but it is life. She had to move on. Did not stop there. I was like, no, I still need a man by my side. So dated another Zambian guy. It seemed like it was going well, but after one year, still it failed. So after going through lots of heartbreaks with Zambian guys, Precious tells us, had this aunt that they are so so close so the aunt told her why can't you join online dating apps and sites because i asked precious when did you come to know about dating apps dating sites and who told you about them she was like it is my aunt so her aunt told her join dating sites and dating apps but when you join your target should be on white guys because white guys are better than Zambian men. You're going to be treated really good. You won't cry anymore. And yeah, she had to follow the aunt. 
and joined dating sites and dating apps started her journey to look for that right man her experience on the dating sites dating apps wasn't good wasn't all that easy <laughs> tells us came across a guy from canada he was canadian but black was like let me give him a chance so they chatted and had a relationship for quite some time but later on came to know that the guy was just playing games on her and after that canadian guy came across another guy from the netherlands <laughs> yeah he was dutch everything seemed really good the guy told precious that he's so much in love with her and even they started talking on meeting <laughs> precious was so happy they planned and the day that that guy was supposed to travel from the netherlands to zambia guess what <laughs> online dating guys he blocked her she cried and cried and cried because you know when you're chatting with a guy you know he is the one you are there excited waiting for him <laughs> fantasizing i told you one time you start fantasizing how you guys are going to be enjoying the goodies <laughs> How it's gonna be so good you know <laughs> to hug touch his skin touch his hair <laughs> Uzungu hair. yeah these are the things that we african women especially if you have never dated a white guy you're there you know dreaming <laughs> it's even during the day but you're there dreaming <laughs> so that's how precious was feeling before this guy blocking her so it ended like that but I can tell you Precious was very, very determined to find that true love, to find that white guy on the dating apps, dating sites. So she continued searching, did not stop at that guy that blocked her on his day to travel to Zambia. And what I can say, guys, her determination eventually paid off. Because at first when she found that guy from the Netherlands, she had changed her location to the netherlands so when it ended when she got blocked kept on searching and yes like i'm telling you her determination paid off because she found a polish guy who is based in the netherlands it's the polish guy that showed interest towards precious so when precious saw that had to go and read his profile tells us or was telling me bella to be honest <laughs> his profile wasn't all that clear i wasn't all that crazy for this guy after going through his profile but again he was asking for my whatsapp number so i had to give out my whatsapp number so after exchanging whatsapp numbers we started chatting but as we were chatting i found out that the guy doesn't speak good english it was very difficult for me to understand him and it was difficult too for him to understand her so she was like no way <laughs> no 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 i can't keep on communicating with him decided to block him on whatsapp so when she blocked him <laughs> what this guy did you can't imagine guys he went on that dating app and sent her a message it was like i liked you why did you block me <laughs> so when precious saw his message was like maybe i did a wrong decision to block this guy he is interested in me let me not let the language barrier stall me from finding a right guy i'm going to give it a try <laughs> so went back to whatsapp and unblocked him and after unblocking him that's when they started chatting using google translator and at that time they were understanding each other very very well so yes guys they kept on chatting getting to know each other and precious tells you or was telling me bella i could ask this guy questions lots lots of questions and i learned this from you this kind breaks my heart a little bit and i will tell you why later yeah that it breaks my heart this lady was following me she knew my channel but all that happened happened yeah so she could ask him about the kids if he is a good father to his kids because he had two kids too 
and also could ask him about the relationship that has remained between him and the ex-wife the guy was like we are just co-parenting you know in a good way no fights nothing all the weekends i'm with my kids you know <laughs> yeah so with that all was good also i had to ask her about the introduction because you know when you bring your story to me i need to dig deep to understand better how things were done you know to pick out the red flags where the lady went wrong and where the guy went wrong so that i help the lady next time <laughs> to be careful yes so when i asked her about the introduction was like bella this guy had a brother in the netherlands and introduced me to his brother not only the brother he also introduced me to his friends and sometimes i could call him on a video call we could talk and i could also talk to his friends if the friends are around at that time so everything was going really smoothly bella with this guy to an extent they started talking of marriage <laughs> they started talking of this guy going to zambia to meet her and I also asked her if he was spoiling her in a long distance relationship was like Bella after one week of us communicating this guy sent me 200 euros and every week he could send 200 euros I remember him sending me 400 euros two times so the guy was really spoiling her a lot a lot a lot a lot it was for example like 400 euros it is approximately 5,000 zambian quatches that's a lot of money yeah so she was so happy thanking god god thank you for blessing me with a guy who is this generous with a guy that really loves me as a single mother all this was going on i didn't know anything guys i just got this story after what happened yeah so yes guys as the relationship kept on growing you know them feeling like they can't wait anymore to meet <laughs> this polish guy was like i am coming to zambia and when i come i want to engage you you know we're going to get engaged and after that you will come to the Netherlands and from Netherlands we will go to Poland and do a very big wedding with my family and we will also invite your family to Poland. She was like, okay, I cannot wait. And yes, guys, he planned his trip, traveled May, May this year. 2024 remember or if i haven't told you they started chatting in january so january to may precious tells us they had chatted or they were in a relationship for three months yeah and that day arrived she went to the airport to pick him was so happy and after the airport went to the hotel had brought lots of gifts for her perfumes and lots of gifts for her kids so when they went to the hotel i know <laughs> my dear beautiful ladies you guys that enjoys the goodies <laughs> you want to know if she shared the goodies that first night no guys it did not happen he was like i would like to first meet your people and after meeting your people then i can enjoy the goodies <laughs> Precious was like, are you sure? Are you serious? He was like, yes. Then she told him, if you go to meet my people, that means you are really, really serious and you want to marry me because that is what they will understand that you're ready to marry me. Are you ready? <laughs> he was like, I'm very, very serious. I didn't come here to play. And yes, guys, after three days, they went to meet her parents yeah they welcomed him very very well asked him lots of questions he responded and also paid the lobola so they were officially husband and wife you know 
<laughs> in Zambian culture. Yeah. And he also engaged her. Oh my God. <laughs> If I could have known this story, like everything is going like this, I could have told this lady, this guy is too good to be true. Because this is what I always tell my babies, my clients, when they come to me with stories. <laughs> like one time, guys, one of my babies was chatting with a guy and this guy to me, he seemed to be too good to be true. <laughs> Due to the things the guy was telling her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because all the questions he was answering very good nicely <laughs> and when it came to work he was like no i prefer you stay home you know do whatever you want to do relaxing and i'm going to be paying you i'll be giving you money i'll be giving you whatever you want <laughs> when she told me i was like girl this is too good to be true ask him this question <laughs> <laughs> and that's when she asked him the question guess what the guy failed the question and i was like you see <laughs> that is why i was telling you the guy was too good to be true so this polish guy too to me he was too good to be true <laughs> yeah but yes he paid the lobola he engaged her they were really really happy then guys precious had this friend is a girl so this friend told precious for me i think if you guys plan you know to reunite you know to be together in poland or in the netherlands you should get married when you get married it's gonna be so easy for you to get the visa to go to poland or to the netherlands because you are husband and wife even his brother was like yeah if you get married it's gonna be easy for her to get the visa because you will go with your marriage certificate to the embassy and easily like that you will get the visa <laughs> yeah that is what they were told but remember their original plan was to get engaged in zambia and later have a big wedding in Poland. But because the friends and then the brother were like, better you get married, they decided, yes, we are going to get married. But before they got married, yes, he had called the brother, like I told you, advised them to get married, but also asked Precious, are you okay with him? Like, do you love him? Precious was like, yes, and also asked the brother, are you okay with the lady? And he was like, yes, of course. Also called his mother in Poland, you know, to introduce Precious to her. Oh my God, the mother was so sweet, so loving, sending those, you know, future hugs, <laughs> kisses, telling her, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you in Poland. And told the son, have you seen his parents so that you are sure she is not a scammer? <laughs> he was like, yes, mom, we will do that. Because at that time they had not yet gone for an introduction. So you see, guys, all was going smoothly and Precious never pointed out any red flag in that guy so guys after being advised to get married in zambia he had not even brought the divorce document had to call at his house and they helped him to look for that divorce document after finding it that is when they sent it to zambia so because precious wanted that marriage to be an express one had to contact people you know thought of whom to contact and came a name of a lady a zambian lady that i shared her love story here on my channel actually i'm planning of contacting her because i did not like how this whole thing went yeah i did not like it but like i told you guys i had no idea of what was going on because precious isn't my baby yes was following me here on youtube but unfortunately wasn't my baby i couldn't be like do this or contact this person because i didn't know anything guys so the name came into her head and i think maybe she was following her <laughs> and decided to call her asked her how to do it and that lady i won't mention her name guys I'll just keep it like that, but I will deal with her. I need a very good explanation. 
<laughs> yeah. You will understand why I'm saying all this. Yeah. So after contacting her, she was like, yes, I know this lady. Contact her. She will help you on everything. She has got a very, very good enough experience when it comes to these things. So give her the phone number of the other lady who works at the marriage registry to help them out. So Precious was telling me or tells you that she paid 500 euros that is approximately 6,000 Zambian kwacha to that lady so that they can be helped. So they went and she took the information and directed them on how to do it. Tells us they registered their marriage on Saturday and on Sunday they were told to go and get married. I know that goodies lovers are like, Bella, you forgot to tell us so. Did they eventually enjoy the goodies? <laughs> yes, guys. After he paid the bride price when they returned to the hotel, yes, they enjoyed the goodies. And it was super, super good. But right now, I'm not even interested in that due to how this story ended. So let's continue, guys, and forget about the goodies. <laughs> so guys the big day came wedding bells <laughs> yeah it was on 25th of may 2024 they went and yeah got to married guys became husband and wife her relatives were there very happy for her and he promised her parents that we are going to have another wedding in poland a big one that i am going to invite you all so she was super happy but after telling me that i was like so what was the next plan you know what was your plan after the wedding because yes you've got married then what she was like bella what he told me is that he is going to try to invite me with a work visa through his company if it doesn't work, we will try to apply for another visa. But that left me with question marks. Because if we are married, why invite me with a work visa? Yeah, I remained with question marks, really. <laughs> Something wasn't right. If I was told such kind of a thing, or if it was my baby and then she's telling me such kind of things, then I could have started telling her, you know, mm, we have a problem girl <laughs> but yes guys she believed it and he had remained with just few days in zambia because he stayed only two weeks in zambia but their wedding happened after one week of him being in zambia so guys before i continue on what happened i would like to advise you on something and please please listen to me very carefully so dear friends i am talking to ladies that are interested in marrying white guys or you have already found a white guy you are now dating but you plan to get married one thing you should keep in your mind is that even if you're dating a white guy the way you are supposed to treat that relationship the way you behave the way you act towards that relationship should be the same same way you could have done in real life you could have done if you are dating a black man i've said this i don't know how many times those who are my real real supporters of this channel you will remember me telling you this because guys when you start treating a white guy in a very special way that is when you do mistakes for example precious i asked her this question how long did it take you to marry this guy after meeting in real life she was like bella after one week and i asked her if it was in normal life could you have married a man after meeting him in one week she was like no she responded to me guys no so if you can't do it 
in real life normal life meet a black guy you know you start loving each other and after a week he wants to marry you you can't marry him why should you marry a guy that yes you have been chatting for three months online but within one week of seeing him in real life you don't even know him very well you're not sure of his real real intentions with you because there is a lot of things guys that you will notice while living with a guy that will tell you he has good intentions or he doesn't have good intentions you will know you will know if he is a quality guy or not a quality guy but if you're going to rush and get married to him within a week you won't have enough time to know him well don't rush guys there is no rush because that visa that you want you need to think very well of where you are going you're going to be living with this person but is he a good person because guys better find a guy this is how i think of it okay <laughs> this is my view about this you are free to criticize <laughs> yeah so for me better take my time to know a guy online even if he's showing me while chatting that everything is going smoothly but i also need my own time to see this guy in real life to understand better his real intentions towards me before i get married so even if i am going to wait you know come to your country stay there because when you go to a guy's country i told you that is when their true colors comes out you know they are in their territory <laughs> in africa if you're an african he comes to africa it's hard very few guys will act badly very few guys their character real real character real colors true colors will come out most will pretend so i can't take that risk <laughs> of marrying a guy that i'm not a hundred percent sure yes he has been spoiling me it's okay yes he has introduced me to his parents his relatives his friends that's good that's a tick but when it comes to him his character you know when we live in real life how is it <laughs> who is this guy so i'll take my time yes we have met but i would like to come in your country get to see your life and all that we keep getting to know each other more and then take the next steps so when it comes to visa we will try the schengen visa and one thing that you guys don't understand is that you can be denied once the Schengen visa. They can deny you twice the Schengen visa. The third time, but the fourth time you will get, as long as you're not a criminal, eventually you will get that visa to travel, go meet your man. So the pressure of being denied the visa shouldn't pressure you to marry a guy that you are not sure yet. Because what I told Precious is that it was a very short period of time for you to get married. And she was like, Bella, you are right. So that's my advice. Calm down. If you really want that quality guy, calm down. Do things calmly. And don't just contact any person. Contact a person that has got enough, enough experience, guys. Even if you don't contact Bella, because you might think, oh, Bella is telling us so that we can go to her, you know, and she tells us pay the fee and all that. No, you can go to even someone else, because my intention is for you to be happy. If you're to get married, you get married to a guy that is a quality one. So whether I am the one to help you or another lady to help you that really has got enough experience and will guide you well for me it's fine but don't just call anyone or seek for guidance advice from any person <laughs> like someone shares her story <laughs> <laughs> I found love and immediately you want to be guided by her. Please guys, let's reason beyond our nose. <laughs> yeah. Talking as a sister, okay? <laughs> this is a sister advice. Let's continue now with the story. So guys, as I told you that few days were remained for this Polish guy to return back to the Netherlands, you know, go to work <laughs> while he's planning 
to invite the wife to the Netherlands, gave to Precious 3,000 Zambian quatches. And she was super surprised because she was like, that money was really small compared to the money he used to send me. But again, was like, anyway, it's okay. Maybe when he reaches there, works and all that, he'll send me more money. <laughs> yeah, for the upkeep. But told the aunt too of that money issue. The aunt was like, was like okay, let's wait and see. So he took their marriage certificate and yeah, traveled back to the Netherlands. So guys, when he returned to the Netherlands, yes, they could communicate, but not all that much. And then it happened. This guy disappeared for two good days without talking to her. And she was there surprised, being like, what happened? But before, he had told her that the ex-wife tried to commit suicide. So they had to take the kids to the grandparents so was there wondering and imagining saying maybe it's because of the ex-wife situation so she was like okay let me wait a bit so she waited and waited but the husband wasn't contacting her that's when she decided to contact the brother-in-law who is in the netherlands too <laughs> So that's when the husband contacted her and we have an Afro cinema, guys. Oh my God. So the husband told her, you know what, Precious? You're so beautiful. You're such a nice person. You're a good woman, but I think you deserve better. You're not good for me. Oh my God, Precious could not believe what she was reading in the messages. But the guy was telling her it's over. And that's how he ended it. She tried to convince him. I was like, no, now we are married. Like here in my country, I can't get married to anyone because we are legally married. What are you saying? But the guy did not care about that at all, at all. So Precious tells us she felt really, really bad, like super bad. Was like, Bella, I have remained with a ring and the name that... I got married, but I got rejected by my husband after one week of being married. And when she came to me, guys, like I told you, I asked her lots of questions so that I can pick out the red flags. And red flag number one, I've told you already, rushing to get married was a very big mistake that she committed. But not only that, guys, I have something else to add here. You who is searching for a white guy online, you who is dating a white guy right now and you are in the process of getting married in your country, you are an African lady. Or let's take an example. You're from any other country apart from, you know, Europe continent. <laughs> you're from maybe the Caribbean. <laughs> you are from Asia, Indonesia, Africa. Please, please stop making it so easy for these white guys when it comes to marriage, getting married in your country. Before you accept that marriage proposal, go do enough research. What are the rights of a wife in his country? What are those important things that you need to know before you marry a citizen of that country? For example, I asked Precious, when you were to get married, like when you were planning to that express marriage, did you talk about prenup agreement? And Precious was like, no one has ever told me about that. I didn't know anything about prenup agreement. But... If you have been watching me, I've talked to this and I remember there is one baby of mine. She got married actually in Tanzania and she came to know about prenup agreement on my channel and was like, Bella, I'm going to talk to him about the prenup agreement even if you're getting married in Tanzania. <laughs> 
and yes they talked you know at first the guy was like no why can't we sign the separation of properties like you remain with your things and i remain with my things if we are to separate everyone remains with his or her things okay <laughs> and she was like bella if this guy keeps on insisting on the separation of properties <laughs> i am not going to marry him because i am leaving behind everything in africa my job everything and this girl had two houses it was a very independent woman <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's like i can't leave everything behind and go marry this guy who knows later he changes then we have to separate divorce i go with nothing it can't happen i was like girl stand on your grounds <laughs> She stood on her ground. The guy was like, no, you know, I've discussed with my mom. My mom still advises we do the separation of properties. You know, you have your things and I keep my things. <laughs> she was like, no. Eventually he said, you know what? What matters to me is being with you, getting married to you, make a family together. To hell the properties. Let's sign the community of properties. Meaning... Your things are my things and my things are yours. If we are to separate, to divorce, then we are going to divide everything into two, 50-50. You take 50, I take 50. Yeah, good like that. But if you are an African woman, you will understand better why this is very, very important. So for Precious, nothing like that. And trust me, guys, if Precious had brought the prenup agreement to this guy before committing in Zambia, he was going to say no. <laughs> Better not to get married now. Yeah, I am very, very sure, 100% sure. But this guy accepted to get married to her because he saw everything is easy, was made easy for him to marry her. And he already knew, if, even if I'm to leave her, it's going to be easy for me. It won't cost me a dime, you know? <laughs> yes, guys, that is why he accepted very, very fast, let's get married. But if there were some things, you know, that were kind tight <laughs> on his side, something that could make him maybe lose his money, lose his properties, he wasn't going to rush to marry Precious. So, let us all learn from this. I repeat, stop making it so easier for these white guys to get married to you. I remember this is the second story to share here on my channel of a lady getting married in Africa and then a guy goes to his country, rejects her, tells her, I don't need you anymore. And when she says, we are married, and the guy responds, in my country, I am very single. If you remember, yeah, this is the second story. I don't want these stories to keep repeating themselves. That is why I keep coming here to talk to you guys. So guys, we are done with Afro cinema number one. Now to the second Afro cinema. <laughs> So guys, when I talked to Precious, of course, I picked out the red flags and I told her, you went wrong here, he went wrong here, you know, to help her out on her next relationship. It's very, very important. But after talking to her, she kept on telling me, Bella, I don't really get it. All was good. Was this guy really playing games on me? And I told her, exist guys that are happy. When you get hurt, they are happy. When you cry, they are happy. Maybe it's one of his fantasies, you know, to do that. But I kept on repeating that it was easy for him, you know. <laughs> if nothing is tying me up, of course, even if it is me, I will get married. And I also had to sit down and I remembered, guys, the first time I came to Italy, thinking that that time... It was the second time to see my husband because at first I had seen him for just a day in Tanzania. So coming here, you know, I was really coming to get to know him better. <laughs> 
yes of course my friend knew him but i was supposed to observe everything at that time if he could have told me let's get married no matter how maybe i was so attached to him and all that i didn't have that courage to get married to him that's why i came to italy the first time the second time then the third time that's when i got married so i made it clear to her that you rushed things time wasn't enough to tell if he is really serious with you but again it was like yes bella that's true time wasn't enough but i still can't believe it so i requested for the story and she was like yes bella you can share so that other ladies don't fall in the trap that i fell into and i was so happy that she accepted so after a few days i think three three days she came back to me and i was like bella now god has given me an answer to why my husband was acting that way i was like what happened <laughs> she told me remember when she contacted a lady that i shared her love story here on my channel to help her on the process on how to get married in zambia very fast and then that lady shared with her the phone number of another lady at the registry. She was like, yes, we went to that lady at the registry. We paid 500 euros for her to help us do things very fast. But when I returned to the hotel, I found that lady's phone number on my husband's phone. I was really surprised like when did they even exchange whatsapp numbers so what i did i had to block and then delete the number of that lady but the lady still had my husband's phone numbers so yeah time came and my husband left went back to the netherlands and when he went back to the netherlands the truth is i have found out now that these people kept on communicating and apparently my husband is dating that lady at the registry and he even confessed it that yes i am so interested in her i want her so bad what a sad story guys what a sad story i felt really really bad for this lady you know what guys as a woman oh my god I can try to put myself in her shoes, but they can't fit me. Cause imagine guys, imagine, you know, as a content creator, as someone who has been coaching you guys, oh, this really makes me feel super, super bad. And why is that? Because this lady all along knew about my YouTube channel, was watching my videos but due to everything i think she got blinded you know by everything got overwhelmed that is why she couldn't think straight and be like no let me check on bella and we talk because if it was paying this lady was capable of paying for the fee she used to receive lots of money from a guy you know if you compare to how much i charge yeah so she was even capable of paying for the fee so that she can be guided but it never even crossed her mind it makes me feel really sad because right now some of you will be blaming the lady you know for stealing her husband guys i can't put a hundred percent of the blame on the lady i cannot do that the a hundred percent blame i put on the husband yeah because if he was that vulnerable if he was that easy you know <laughs> to be taken by another woman it couldn't have happened maybe let's take an example the lady at the registry was a good woman wasn't a husband snatcher <laughs> she could have lost this guy for another woman maybe in another country <laughs> he says let's go for a vacation in uganda and meets these beautiful ugandan ladies tall you know <laughs> with beautiful skin oh my god get lost and takes the ugandan lady then leaves 
the Zambian lady or they go to Kenya, meet beautiful Kenyan ladies, takes a Kenyan lady, goes to Tanzania, same, same thing. So even if it wasn't for that lady at the registry, it was going to happen in the future because the truth is that guy wasn't a quality guy period <laughs> and no one can tell me otherwise so when she told me at first before we discovered he had taken another lady and was like bella he told me he doesn't love me anymore nothing has remained any feelings i was like but this guy the truth is he has never loved you because if a guy truly truly loves you love does not just disappear like that <laughs> a week ago i was so much in love with you you are the woman of my life i got married to you a week after i am no longer in love with you it does not work like that yes i told you i deal with men too i guide men too <laughs> i've seen men who are in love how they act or how they react to things compared to men who are not in love this polish guy wasn't in love at all at all at all you will say he got married he got married because it was very easy for him to marry he wasn't going to lose anything so guys let's be wise <laughs> if you are going to get married to me and maybe in your head you are planning already to leave me after a week after a month after six months <laughs> of enjoying my goodies and everything <laughs> we are both going to lose i'm not going to make it easier for you to marry me so let's learn guys let's learn from this <laughs> so guys that is how their marriage ended it ended really badly she's very very hot but you know trying to move on and is thinking of going back to the dating size dating up and search for a quality white guy yes so let us wish her all the best let us not judge her a lot things happen and we are glad that she was open to share her love story with us so that we get to learn and find those quality guys online a guy that you will marry and live happily forever <laughs> not have a perfect marriage because it doesn't exist but live happily ever after <laughs> yes <laughs> and before i end this video guys please please now you see the vivid example of what i was telling you because <laughs> there is a time where i did a video and i was telling you you know how is it like to date a white guy and how we most of african women think of dating a white guy we think they are the best they'll never cheat on you they will never hurt you but these are the vivid examples telling you that no <laughs> a white man is just a man just like any other man of any color so when dating him date him with your eyes wide open just as if you're dating a black guy yeah so that you don't make any mistakes or ignore any red flag because her aunt told her go for white guys you know they are better than zambian men but in this case is this polish guy better than that Zambian guy that dated her for three years and married another woman left her heart broken no there is no difference you know <laughs> no difference at all one is worse than the other yes so this tells you to open your eyes shine your eyes dear sisters those who are wondering what is the name of that dating app where Precious met the Polish guy they met on Badu and says she had changed her location to the Netherlands. That's when she met the Polish guy living in the Netherlands. I did not think this video is going to be this long, but <laughs> I'm happy of what I have said to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. Be blessed for your love and your support. Please, please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. 
watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video until next time guys and now i am back fully back it will be story after story after story after story <laughs> yeah so let us meet in my next video love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.